So in this video, I'm going to show how to import station offset elevation data into TBC from an Excel file. So um, first, you got to look at your your Excel file and you got to create a file here exactly like is shown. So on the first row, you have to have this TBC Excel in that first um, cell. And then this column is going to be your point number. This will be your station your offset, your elevation, and your description. So you can have it set up exactly like this, or you can eliminate the point number. So if you just have station, offset, elevation, you could do it that way, or you can actually have the point number in there if you have a point number. So either way is gonna work, but the key is to put this TBC Excel just like that in that first cell. So once you get that situated, you're gonna, go into business center and you're going to use the import command. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring in my alignment. So in this case, I have an alignment in this project. It's just going to be a test alignment that can be a PRO if you have that as well. And you're basically just going to bring that in. It's going to show up as an alignment and just like we always do. So once you do that, you can drag and drop that in. But when you bring the Excel file in, you need to do the import command. So when you hit the import command, you're going to browse to the folder where you have the CSV file stored, the Excel file. And I'm going to choose the one that says HAL with ID. So this one has um, my station offset elevation with the point ID. And when you, when you go to open that file, you're going to see down below, you're going to get some options. So you're going to see that, um, it's going to say to create points instead of stored cross section. So I think by default that might say no. Um, and if you bring that in, it's going to actually create you um, cross sections and and make you a surface um, associated with those cross sections. So if you just want to bring the points in by themselves, change this to yes. And then you're just going to create points instead of cross sections. Say yes to that read point ID. So you can say yes to that because you do have the point ID in your Excel file. And then the alignment, if you have it set to auto um, and you only have one alignment, it'll take it in right off of that alignment. But here you have the option to choose which alignment. So if you have multiple alignments in here, it's going to ask you which one you want to assign these points to. So um, you could just leave this to auto because we only have one. And just hit the import button and it's going to bring all those points in. Now, notice what happens here is it does create a surface between all these points. So uh, if that's not necessary, you can always just turn that off if you just want the points. Um, it will be a lot cleaner if you do the stored cross sections. It'll, it'll make your corridor a lot better um, based off these points. But you can see here that each one of these points is my point ID is 288. There's my, my feature code and my northern easting elevation. So they all come, come in there. And if you don't want that, that surface, like I said, you can, you can always go in here and just delete that. So if you don't want that surface, you can say delete um, or you can keep it depending on what you're doing with these points.